Today I'll be showing you how to connect a PS3 controller to an iMac or any laptop using Macintosh. So uh, all you need is a PS3 controller and it's USB of course. And the first step you need to do is connect the controller to the PC using the cable. And then go to click on this logo and click on system preferences. This thing will open up. I mean, this thing will open up. So after that, go and click on Bluetooth. You'll have this. And uh, once you connected this, you need to hold this PS button for three seconds. And after that's done, you'll be able to see that the PlayStation con 3 controller is connected. I guess for the first time we'll ask you for a passcode. Just type four zeros and press OK. That's only in uh, some cases. So. Once it's over, you can just plug it out, it will still be connected because it's connected to the Bluetooth. And then go to this link, it's the Pirate Bay, it's a torrent download and download this app called uh, Joystick Mapwork. It's about $4 in the App Store, but uh, this is the free version if you want. It's, it's a torrent download, you can use torrent clients like uh, uTorrent or uh, Transmission, I'm using Transmission which is very good for Mac. If you are a uh, demo show for the Windows, this is just a tutorial for uh, Mac. So once you uh, get in, into this page, click on Get this Torrent. Uh, since I already have uh, Joystick Mapwork, I mean I, I've already uh, downloaded it. It says it already ex exists. So download that, and uh, you you you'll get a you'll, you'll, you'll get a DMG file uh, which you have to install. Click on that, and I've already installed it, so I have a joystick mapper over here. I'm gonna click on that and open it. But so the first time you open it, you won't be able to see all these options. These are these are all presets uh, which you use to play games. So to uh, make all these options visible, you need to click on File and Load Examples. You have all of this, and what you gonna uh, there, there's only a piece of playing games like Call of Duty or uh, Splinter Cell Conviction. So you just need to uh, click on what piece you want. Uh, so you, uh, if you wanna play games like Call of Duty or Minecraft, click on the FPS, which says in, as you can see I'm pointing over here. It says example FPS. And below, make sure it says PS3 Gamepad because there's another FP, FPS which sort of says Xbox 360, which because so you can do that if you use an Xbox 360 controller. But since you're using a PS3 controller, you need to click on this. And now as you as you as you'll be able to see, I'm gonna move the analog and you'll be able to see the mouse uh, moving on first moving on the screen. So you see I'm, I'm moving the analog, mouse is moving on the screen. So that's how easy it was to connect the PS3 controller to the PC. And uh, I'm not sure about some games. Uh, I mean, as far as the games, as far as far as the games I played, I think uh, Splinter Cell Conviction works properly, and Blood and Glory works properly, and Minecraft works properly. Uh, and I'm not uh, so I'm not sh I'm not sure that all games would work, but still give it a try. It's still a wonderful one. So, like I said, if you want to buy the Original version you can get it from the app store, but if you if you don't want to you know waste your money, you can get it. You can get a free version of this, but it's not the updated one. Uh, the latest one would be from the app store. So thanks for watching the video. Hope it helped.